Hey, this is Eitan, I'm a sound designer for motion pictures, and in this video, I'll talk about explosions. And how to create them. So basically, to get a really good explosion sound, you'll have to assemble a crew, Who's coming with? drive to the desert, mics and recording gear, blow up things, go back home, edit everything, and voila! All you need is some cash, a place to blow up things and, well, explosives. While all of this is doable, and companies like Boom Library and Pro Sound Effects do that, not all of us can afford or want to invest so much just for a few original explosion sound effects. Luckily, in a few simple steps, you'll be able to achieve a really good and realistic sound just by using simple drum samples, Foley recordings, editing, and a few plugins. Now, before we continue, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. So what is an explosion in terms of sound? When I want to create a new sound, I first think of two things, envelope and frequency. Let's take a look at the envelope of an explosion sound. It has a very short attack time and a long decay. What does this envelope remind you of? Right, percussions. And what kind of sound do we need? Well, an explosion is basically a lot of noise, so we want an equal representation for all frequencies, and then we could change it based on our needs using EQ. Let's start with a simple drum preset. We will use the bass drum for the low range, snare and clap for the mid range, and hi-hat for the high range. An explosion is a huge burst of energy that is created in a very short time. The way to emulate that is by making sure that all these sounds start at the same time. This is how the kick drum, snare, clap and hi-hat sound when played together. And this will be the basic sample that we will use to create our explosion. The next step is to start destroying this sound and making it completely unrecognizable. We will start by stretching it. and then duplicating and stretching it even more. Now, you do want to make sure that you're using an algorithm that is going to slow it down as if it were a tape, so that it changes the pitch. Add some clipping, EQ, compression, and reverb. Pretty close. Let's add some white noise and make it a little more evil. Listen how it sounds when I add the Native Instruments Driver Effect plugin. Now that we have a nice basic explosion, we can get creative. I recorded a trash can impact, and by using the same logic, I started distorting the sound by stretching it, adding effects, and then layering it under the basic sound. This was quite good, but something was missing. When you hear an explosion, it usually comes with some kind of reaction. It can be stone or metal breaking, window smashing, etc. So I just broke a few glass jars and recorded the pieces. I made sure that I record an impact sound for the first blow, and then recorded the sound of the glass fragments scattering. This is how it sounds before and after the glass fragments layers. What if we take those sounds and try to replace them in some of the explosion scenes that we've seen on this video? It's not perfect, but you can see how with a few more adjustments this could work perfectly. I recommend to try this with your DAW, use different drum presets and samples, record all kinds of crazy sounds and try to use them to create an interesting and realistic explosion sound. I hope this video was interesting to watch as it was interesting to make, and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Have fun! It's not over yet.